Welcome to a place where you become a brilliant in the easiest possible way. And today I will show you how to animate spaceship and space. And then the animation will look like this. This illustration is made from very simple shades. It is easy to draw, but if you want to skip this step and jump in the animation right now, you can download the illustration from gigantic.store for just one dollar. You will get a vector file prepared for animation, so everything you need to do is to import the file and start with animation. Yeah! Before I start with After Effects, you need to know a few things. First, you need to move every space object in different layer. If you want to learn how to do this, check out my character rigging tutorial. It's very easy. And the second thing, which is very important here, is the plane trail. This is not an object, it is outline. First, I will draw a rectangle. This is the outline and this is the full colored object. Now, I need the outline. Pick up the rect selection tool, select those two points and click delete on your keyboard. Now, I have one line with the outline. Select the upper point, move it up or down and by doing this, you can change the height. And if you want to change the wide, use stroke for that. That is all what you need to know to create this beautiful flame tray. And it's time for After Effects, so I'm already there, yeah! Use right mouse button in Project Tab, go to Import and choose File. Select Illustration File and click Open. In this pop-up tab, select Composition and Layer Size, then click OK. Now I have a new composition, double click on it, and we are in space now, yeah! <laughs> this is my vector files. I have here too many different objects, and if I start with the animation in one composition, I will create a terrible mess. So, I will separate the rocket with trail from background and space object. Now, I will select rocket layer and all flames layer. Right mouse click on them and choose pre-composition. I need name for my new composition. And I separate all selected layer in one new composition. Double click on it and here are the layers. Hello my layers! <laughs> Each action you make here will make effect in the main composition. It is time for easy flame. Right mouse click on the flame trail 1 and choose create shapes from vector layers. I will do this also with other trail layers. I have new layers so I can delete the old ones. Rocket layers need to be above other layers. And I will change order of layers. Next step. I will select one of my trail layers. Open it and in the add button choose trim pad. Now we can see trim pad option and that is everything what I need. Start and end. For example, duration of my animation will be 5 frames. This is the start point and this is the end point. At the end of trail animation the end point needs to drop on the start point. So I will click this stopwatch icon and create keyframe for the end of the last frame. And I will do the same for the start point, but I will increase it to 100, because they need to end up on the same position. At the beginning of the animation I will create keyframes too, but the end point will be 0 and the start point will be greater than 0, because if it's 0 my animation will not be visible. I need to create some distance between points if I want to be visible, so it will be 50. It is cool now. My engine is working. Now I will do the same with my other trail layer. I'm done, but it can be even better, so I will change the layer position and increase the dynamic of the animation. It is much better now. Whoa! And now the animation time is increased to 10 frames because I moved the layers. The spaceship is done, and it is time to get back into space. Yeah, I need to run the background 
and time of composition is too short. So I will go into composition and choose composition settings and increase the time to 5 seconds. Ok, I will select all layers and drag them to the end of the composition. Like you see, duration of spaceship is composition is the same. So I need to make a loop of it. You can copy it one by one, but it is too complicating. There is an easier way. Go into time and choose enable time remapping. Open time remap and click on arrow icon. Choose property and finally loop out. Now I can increase the time of the spaceship composition and I have loop of it. Ok, I will start with background now. I will select one of my space objects, for example this big planet. Select layer and click P on your keyboard. This is shortcut for keyframe position. I am on my first frame of the composition now and I will move the big planet out of the screen. Now I need to click stopwatch icon to create a keyframe for that position. Now I am on last frame of composition. I need to move the planet out of the screen down and create a new keyframe for that position. Repeat process with other space elements. It's done and it looks like this. I want a better dynamic so I will change position of the keyframes. It is much better now. I have a small break in spaceship animation, so I will create a new keyframe before last, delete the last and move the new keyframe on the position of the deleted. Now it is a great, but I can still improve it just a bit, so I will select all layers except the spaceship and the main background and create a new pre-composition. I will copy it with Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V command and move the start of the copied composition to the middle. I will copy it one more time and connect the beginning and the end of the copied compositions. Now I have more space elements with smaller distance so the loop is much better. Cool! Yeah! Ok people, that's it and don't forget to subscribe because the best is yet to come. Peace to all of you. Bye.